Now the idea of a motorcycle with 300 horsepower seems like a real jolt to the market and that's what it was intended as. Somebody has to do something at a point to get the market moving and Kawasaki decided to attract a great deal of attention in a way a little more innovative than taking off all your clothes and dancing on the table. 300 horsepower out of a one liter engine. How extraordinary is that? To put it in perspective, in the first turbo Formula One era, the BMW Megatron four cylinder engine of 1.5 liters raced at 900 horsepower, qualified at 1300 horsepower. So that's a tremendous amount. Um, the fellows that take their Hayabusa's to the uh, former Air Force landing strips and try to go 300 miles an hour. They buy a bike for $14,000, they buy a turbo kit for $14,000, and they probably put another $100,000 worth of learning experience into a 650 horsepower motorcycle with 1,500 cc's. So what's going on here is this is a product designed to make 300 horsepower, not a street engine that started life at 150 or 180 horsepower that's being souped up to make some outrageous amount. So this is a very reasonable amount of power for a supercharged engine. I really admire them for giving the marketplace something to chew on. I'm chewing on it myself.